Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I felt straight being back out here. Um, I mean, it's training camp, obviously tough practices. Uh, you're going to have some good plays. You're going to have some stuff you got to correct. But all in all, I feel like we're doing a good job coming out here just trying to improve. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it was frustrating getting sick and having to, like, focus to get my weight back and stuff like that. But it's all coming along fine, and I feel like I'm, I feel good and ready to rock. How like, much weight did you end up losing? Somewhere between 10 to 15. You put it all back on? I mean, I'm not about to just put on bad weight, so it's right. going to get back on, but it's going to be done gradually. How do you like Denard, and, and how do you think guys have kind of bought into what he's preaching? Oh, no, nah, he's a he's not only a great coach, but he's a great leader of men, and guys are really buying into what he's trying to get us to do, and I feel like that's why the defense right now is just playing so fast and aggressive um, under his leadership. I'm looking forward to seeing other guys step up. It's like since Arden is going to be missing some time at the beginning of the season, it's an opportunity for some other guys. Oh, for sure. I mean, like I said, guys are coming out here working. Uh, every day is a competition. And as long as guys just keep taking it one day at a time, trying to stack days, get that improvement going, and we're going to see what happens. What have you seen from Rashad so far? Rashad's a guy that shows up every day, man. And he's he's locked in. You can tell he's locked in. And he's doing what, like I just said, he's coming out here, he's focused, and he's trying to improve every single day. You lose some weight, Carol. He's light. To, to recover from? Yeah, I lost about... 10 to 15 pounds, but I mean, like I said, it's all about hydrate, hydrating and coming back each day, just trying to not put on bad weight, but keep adding the weight. How, how close are you? How long will it take you? No, nah, I mean, I'm relatively close, but I mean, as long as I feel good, I'm just going to take it a day at a time. Aaron, it's been a couple of years now since you've been fully healthy to go through a full training camp here for the season. How excited are you to put that behind you and, and just get ready and feel like you're 100% for the season? Super excited, man. I'm looking for a career year. Like I've already said, man, I just can't wait for the season to start. But right now I'm just focused on, like I said, stacking days, trying to improve each day. Uh, we have an understanding. I have, he have, I have an understanding where we're coming from. I have an understanding where he's coming from. He have a job, I have a job. Um, at, at the end of the day, I take full um, accountability of my actions on the field. I mean, that'll never happen again with me, like I said. I always talk about that switch, uh, when to turn it on, when to turn it off. I was kind of still had it on coming off the field, of course, with the, um, the way practice went. But that, like I said, that's not me. Um, it'll never happen again. And to all you guys, like I said, I apologize. And not because it's hit social media, but it's because of who I am. Um, that's not my character. And I think uh, from here on out, like I said, <clears throat> from that point, like I said, I spoke on about it. I'm ready to move forward. Um, any football questions, I'm here to answer. Is, is One that question part of being a leader media. too, Jeffrey? The, the setting an example for others, is that where that's coming from also? Most definitely. Um, we talked about everyone knowing I'm a leader on the team, and I don't want none of my teammates saying that. And like I said, that just, that's not who I am. You know, I, I look at myself first because being a leader, you have to point the finger to yourself first. And like I said, me and Buck talk. We have an understanding. And like I said, I told him where I was coming from. He told me where he was coming from. I said, ready to move on. From you seem it. very angry with us in, in general lately. What, what's the root of that? And what can I just, we do? I, what, what I just said, that, that's not me. We're going to move forward from that. I'm ready to focus on football. I just want to win. Like I said, I'm not with all the social media stuff. Um, I got a text message even from PR later, just even delete social media while I'm in camp. Like, cause, like I said, I don't want to get the text message. I told my family, don't send it to me no more, none of that. But like I said, I'm not angry at you guys. I don't have nothing against you guys. You guys have a job, I have a job. We know you guys are going to critique us. I mean, we're gonna, we not going to like it. And like I told um, earlier, like, we also have a right to speak all opinion as well, just like you guys. So um, I'm not angry with no one. Um, like I said, some of the stuff, I just don't like with some of the stuff to be said. That's my opinion. So, like I said, I'm just ready to move on from that. Like I said, yesterday is unacceptable, and we came back to practice today. I had a great day. Just in general, do you need to get, I guess, pay less attention to social media? I'm just I'm focused on football. When it came to on the field yesterday and just the intensity, where's the line with that? Has Callahan talked to you guys about that at all? I mean, just control aggression. Uh, at the end of the day, um, my job is to push them guys as well as they push ours. We, we ain't here to fight. At the end of the day, um, just like when me and um, – um, Latham got um, tangled up. It's, it's a football play. So we compete. All the extra stuff just not called for. Um, as we know that, it's been like that. Because um, as we know in the game, you, you hit someone in the face mask, it's, it's, you're out the game. So at the end of the day, you have to know when to draw the line. We teammates, at the end of the day, we, like I said, we all in here for one goal to get each other better and get ready for September and win one game at a time. I've, I was training. Um, literally, I, I put myself in a routine and a schedule of just training like I was in the NFL, even though, you know, I wasn't at the time. Um, just dedicating myself to the game, 
waking up every day, going to the gym, working out, running, working my hands, working my pass rush, making sure that I was uh, still in this type of shape. Um, you know, that was that was my life for four years straight. So this opportunity come in, I've, I've been prepared for this for a really long time. And you, you're driven, I guess, because you love the game and, and want to keep your career going as long as possible? Absolutely. I mean, I, I love this game. Um, Unfortunately, you know, I got banged up early when it was uh, when it, I felt like it was time for me to take the next level into my career, um, and it kept me out the league for for a pretty long time. And there was never a doubt in myself as far as my my talent and what I could do on the field because I've done it. Um, but to get my body and my mind back right and get everything in order to be the best version of me, that's what I had to dedicate myself to. And I just stuck with that path and that plan. And this opportunity presented itself, and I just took it day by day. And here I am. What do you think about the opportunity here, and what have they told you about the opportunity here? Um, you know, the opportunity for me, I, I, got, I mean, I got to just take it back to just getting the call. You know, for me, it's been one step at a time. You know, training, 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 talking to my agent, praying to God, like, is, is, there, some, is there something available? Is somebody want to bring me in? Is there an opportunity? And, you know, those moments were highs and lows because sometimes it was like, hey, we might have something, and other times it was like, hey, man, we got to go train for another five, six weeks. So um, for me, I, the, the call itself was amazing. Then walking into the building, amazing. Meeting the coaches, amazing. Having my first minicamp workout back, amazing. I mean, every, every step that I've taken up to this point is another milestone that um, for a long time I just dreamed about it and prayed about it and, and worked for. How do you, what did you learn from playing in Canada for a couple of years? Um, in Canada, I think it just taught me to be, to execute more with my hands. You know, when you're a yard off of the ball, um, offensive linemen still have time to gather and, and get ready. And, you know, I'm normally a speed guy, so I like to just beat guys off the edge. But up there, you can't really do that because they still have time to compensate for, you know, the, the speed. And it just made my, my technique and my moves a lot more technical. And I had to really focus and buckle down on that. You talk about the opportunity to just simply join the Titans, but how do you view the opportunity to gain some snaps and, you know, especially with the Arden Key situation, just opportunity on the field? Um, you know, I, I don't think about all the, the outside stuff. You know, for me, it's coming in here one day at a time, making sure I know my plays, making sure that I'm doing what I need to do, and everything else will come with that. You know, I understand there's a situation with Arden, um, and whatever that entails and however that works out, you know, I'll be ready for whatever they need me to do here, and, and that's what I'm working for. Um, for me, man, I think I'm progressing every day. And for me, man, it's just stacking day, day by day, day by day. Um, I know I'm going to make mistakes. Um, you know, all this stuff still new to me. But for me, man, I'm just getting more comfortable and comfortable. And um, every day you can see um, I'm letting it loose. So as long as I feel comfortable, um, I feel like I'm in a great position to just let it all out and play my game that I know I can play. The aggressiveness contagious the, the way you'd hope it seems like everybody's right in people's faces. Maybe maybe a couple flags, but um I got one flag today. But um for me man, um I think, you know, that's my game. Um be aggressive, you know, um irritate receivers and um just put hands on and um stay in the hip pocket. And for me man, I think me just doing that, um, I'm making my receivers better. You know, um, I feel like I'm one of the aggressive corners in this league, and I just got here. But um, I feel like I'm making them better day by day. So um, I'm going to keep giving them that work, and um, they're making me better iron shopping off. You've seen it from the other DBs, too, though? It seems like across the board. Guys. Oh, of course. You know, Coach Denard, um, he preached that every day. Um, put hands on, put hands on. And as you can see, um, we start pressing everything. So um, I think that's the, that's the model. That's going to be the model of our DBs, you know, aggressiveness and making sure we put hands on receivers and beating them up at the line of scrimmage. We've seen Coach Denard coach you up a little hard a couple of times. What's what's that like? And especially as a rookie, you know, how do you take that? Um, man, um, I think I'm used to hard coaching. You know, um, I've been, been from Miami. I think um, hard coaching, that's all I know. And then, you know, coming from Louisville with Coach Ellis, another tough coach that's hard coaching. But for me, man, you know, I, I'm great with accepting criticism. Um, I feel like that's a big part of my game and just gaining that knowledge and, um, putting it together and then it's making me better as a player and just with my technique. So for me, man, you know, um, he stays on me every single day, him and Coach Harris. So for me, man, it's just a setting that criticism and knowing at the end of the day, um, he's doing it to help me and he just want me to set a standard and just be great.
Did Jarvis have there? Was it almost injury or? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I just had a, um, I knocked the wind out myself, but um, as you see, I, I got back up and came in right back in, so a little scared, but that's about it. Is there a story with the yellow cleats? Um, those cleats, man. I I say those my good luck cleats. You know, um, I've been, I had those cleats since the drive process, so those cleats been through hell and back with me, and um, you know, they are part of the journey of how I got here. So for me, um. You know, that was a big part, and now I can't wear them no more. You know, um, I end up ripping them, but going too hard in them, but that's okay. I guess I got to find me another pair that I get used to.